Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney and today, well, not today, but when I filmed this like two or three weeks ago, it was a really exciting day because I went on the hunt for the Skultimus Secrets Iridescent. If you guys know, I've been talking about it for months. I actually went to two targets because that first one was very mid. It didn't have anything, but yeah so i decided to look around to see what was going on honestly to my surprise this second target was packed to the rim ew not rim but the brim <laughs> um with like pretty much every doll in existence but yeah they had so many different options and a lot of new things that i hadn't seen yet so it was pretty cool to see the the new six pack rainbow high and also the encanto dolls i don't know if those ones in particular are new or even the lol dolls but I found the ones that I was looking for. I'm gonna show my reaction in a couple of seconds, but look, I thought these were pretty cool. These are the Ely dolls, but they were really big. Here I am. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Like I was hopeful that I would find them, but I didn't think it would be of this quantity and that they would have each character like on front display. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful sight. I'm still in shock. And of course I had to get my faves. I had to snatch frankie off of the shelf because that was the one i anticipated the most however i've not unboxed them yet but i do think that jackie might be my fave okay if you catch a glimpse of my hair mind your business they're here guys dreams do come true <laughs> honestly i I have to start with Jackie Lore. I have to because look at the box. Look at the presentation. Look at the packaging. Oh my gosh. If any one of these are, are wonky in any way, I'm going to be so disappointed. Look at that. This is my first time seeing this in person. And I love, I love, love, love the fact that they put them back in the coffin style boxes, the coffin shaped boxes. I understand the initial reason why they got rid of that, but come on. Like, you can't beat it. Like, this is a collector worthy box in my opinion <laughs> we'll save these for another video time has come i don't know how to open it um i this is like the only box and package that i i genuinely want to keep like 30 dollars for this and the doll i don't know it's just i want to see more of this i i really do <gasps> absolutely in love and what is all this oh oh my gosh lay all day and look her phone so this is like a playset right please don't mind if you hear my ipad going off i posted something on instagram and we all we all are excited about this so let, let's do it this is my fourth dracula doll but it's only my second g3 one and already i love her a lot more than the first one <laughs> i did hear that they all have poly hair but i think that that's okay because i might plan on rerouting some of them we'll see i don't know i don't want to mess the box up i forgot to mention this is done by Ooh, i forgot i'll put the person's instagram page here but they are so talented like this is the best artwork i've ever seen for any doll ever they need to continue this and try if you can monster high to make them look more like this if you can i'd appreciate that does she come with those earmuffs i'm gonna i'm gonna cry i i mean i guess it's poly it kind of feels like saran but I, it is poly i think it's it's okay honestly it's not like too bad to the point where i would want to change it this is a cute shirt i like this a lot oh my gosh i'm in love with her why does she Oh, I'm sure the earrings come in here, right? Look at this. Ooh, I love these boots. I mean, like everyone else said, it would it could do with some painted detail. And I might get some like silver or some kind of color to like color these little buckle portions in, you know? Or even like the zipper and you know, whatever. But here's her face. Her bangs are pretty nice. They could be worse. I'm probably gonna cut them shorter or something. I'll figure it out, I don't know. You know what, she does have nice hair and you can straighten this hair. Um, I don't know up to what temperature, but I'm probably gonna use like 350. Yeah, you can you can straighten it, so that's nice. And curl it. <gasps> I may give her curls or waves or crimps, whatever, we'll see. But yes, very beautiful face, I love it. That's her. <laughs> so I'm not gonna dip the stuff in water. Should I do that? I don't have time. You know what? Maybe I can come back later and do it. Yeah, yeah, I can come back tonight and do it. 
yeah please don't mind if this looks ghetto this is the first iteration of this setup so i mean you understand right <laughs> let's see what she comes with there she is again i was at work all day so i missed her okay so i got a cup of water this is hot water i don't know what temperature the water should be i just assumed it should be hot um <laughs> what do i do oh <gasps> oh it's working oh wait a minute hold on whoa i didn't know it was gonna be this pretty i think i kind of want to do all of them now hold on okay so this is the top one right oh that's so freaking cool i never thought i'd be doing this oh okay wow with the hearts look how cool and it's soft that's nice look at that oh a nice little skirt okay not bad not bad okay let's do this process again this is way more fun than i expected it to be by the way this key, this key itself is cute ooh, ooh, there we go <laughs> so that one is um this one right oh hold on a minute so this goes like that Oh, I like shoes like this a lot. I love when they use like clear plastic like that. I don't know. It's just, it's really nostalgic. Um, they have black painted detail for once. Oh, look at the wings and the heart <gasps> and the glitter. I don't know. I like this a lot. I love platform shoes, period. Oh, look, the hearts on the bottom. I knew that they have. Why are these so like detailed compared to other things? And you can probably switch these out if you want to or make them like custom and stuff. And also this thing here has like a little bit of dimension. You see that? Like all the different texture work. Like they, they pulled out all the stops for sure. So, ooh, what is this? Hold on, is this a bag? Oh, oh, look at this. And the texture work, and it opens. That, that's nice. It's definitely worth it for sure. In, in my opinion, it's worth the trade off. But I probably would have preferred if they made it like $40 with Saran hair, to be honest. But for now, I need to figure out how I want to do her hair. I have an idea, but I don't know if it's, it'll be my first time trying it out. This poly is really soft. I, I'm, it's like surprisingly nice. It's definitely easier for kids to play with than the previous poly that I've dealt with and seen and felt like um creep over claudine that was horrible any curly poly i think is bad but straight poly how do you do that oh <laughs> so yes you've probably noticed by now that i've given that poly hair that dracula had so many compliments and i've spoken very highly of it and i do stand by that the poly is nice but the problem that i was having was the stiffness of it and that's where poly at least for me, Polly and Saran differ because <laughs> this Polly was so hard to start. Like, look, it's just, it's going to be so stiff. I couldn't figure out what to do with it. I don't know. I just didn't think that it was worth trying to mess around with rather than just like rerouting, you know, and doing it, or I guess having more control over the style. And plus, I don't know. I had a cute idea in mind and I didn't want to sway from that. So I was going to do this style that i ended up doing <laughs> so yeah i went on shimmer locks on etsy and i got some saran hair this saran is very odd it's not like the old monster high saran you know it's a little more stiff it's a little more like greasy like but like i said it drapes nicely and you are given much more control over like styling and hair placement normally when i get like rerouting hair whether it's saran or nylon i typically don't wash it <laughs> but I, I wanted to wash this one in particular because i i thought that it would help with the greasy nature of it but you know it, it didn't <laughs> but it's okay because it's still better than that poly that she originally had just for styling purposes alone um and then plus it's really satisfying to watch like isn't that cool um yeah look at this little cute shot okay editing okay come through well the reason why i'm talking so much right now is because i heard someone say and people have said this in the past many a times but they always want me you guys always want me to talk more i'm like oh my gosh you know i like to watch my videos back and i don't want to hear my voice constantly but hey if that's what you guys want you guys can you can have it you can have it um People have said I sound like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Willy Wonka. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even offended by that because guess who's playing Willy Wonka in the new Willy Wonka movie? Timothy Chalamet, or I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But yeah, I was like, okay, I'll take that as a compliment. I'll be Willy Wonka, Willy the Wonka. And don't, don't do too much about that crumb on the table. It is what it is. I don't know. I think my nephew was sitting there. 
But I want I want to do this new thing where I ask you guys how many outfits I wore throughout the video because a lot of times I wear like I did well these videos sometimes takes weeks sometimes take weeks <laughs> from start to finish and even days sometimes I would like for you guys to let me know how many outfits you see me wearing in this video also if you see any weird things like on the bed or in the background it's because we something just fell in the shower <laughs> we got um we got our carpet shampooed and I had to put stuff up on the bed and stuff. So yeah, um, where are we at now? Yeah, so you can't tell, but this was weeks later. Um, this was actually yesterday and I just pulled the hair back out and I'm cutting it right there because last time I, I, I rerouted the doll with the bend in the hair and that wasn't good it caused frizz you can see it in my frankie video it just made it not as sleek and smooth as it should be so here's the um blueprint for the style that i wanted to do um and the colors and everything like that it was this was a very in intricate restyle it was very intricate there was a lot of ups and downs a lot of loops and it changed a lot so what you see in the end isn't necessarily what i had in mind at the beginning but uh, I do like the way it ended up. I'll talk more about it later, but some things could have been better, but it's okay. It's okay. We always learn. So yeah, I'm starting off with the black hair and I knew for a fact that I wanted bangs in that color pattern. And um, you know what? Bangs and saran hair do not mix. I was struggling so much with this whole restyle, let alone with her bangs. Um, remind me to never do things <laughs> no i'm just kidding but you'll see when i cut it i had like a, a heart dropping moment Oof. but i think I, I i fixed it for the most part i ended up having to use fabric tech glue rather than the got to be glue that i was initially using um and that seemed to help really well so right here what i'm doing is i am i'm making my own like rooting like <laughs> my own like hair plug so that i can give her like that thatched parting that thatched part line look you know what i mean like how they how they come out of the box so what i'm doing here is i'm taking each individual plug and i'm just splitting it so that way there's not there's not many bald spots and the bald spots that are left you just fill it in you just add more plugs and just add as much hair as you want um i don't know if like splitting like is i don't know if that's a, is an issue i've never had that issue i mean you would have to have like a really thick piece of hair and this is saran so it's really thin set <laughs> it's yeah so i think you'll be okay but it's quite the fun experience i don't do the repainting the head thing i don't feel like it's necessary and plus regular like human scalps are lighter in color anyway so yeah one point for realism <laughs> So I just wanted to show you my little Timu order. I got a lot of things for the doll's hair that I, I normally couldn't find on Amazon. Not that I was looking like overtly hard, but you know, these all showed up and I thought they looked really cool. A lot of these are nail charms um, and the other ones are bracelet charms, but they look good on Draculaura. They're just little, they're a little big for dolls, but you can, you can make it work. We, we know how to make it work. Tonight is definitely a music listening night. 
um yeah <laughs> i actually have a lot of videos to catch up on but i've been so busy at the office here's everything that i'm using for a dracula's restyle let me know if you need any links everything was previously linked on my amazon storefront but since i've introduced new items from timu i'll have to like give you the link because <laughs> i'm not affiliated with timu so unfortunately right um yeah so this is like the second attempt um at restyling her hair so i lost a lot of storage um i don't know how i don't know how i'm gonna upload this video to be honest because my phone is like zero storage oh, guys pray for me i might have to be i might just have to export it in 1080p but even then i don't know if i have enough storage for that Alrighty, and we are at the end of this restyle. I'm sorry for being so quiet. I know I said earlier that I was gonna talk more, <laughs> but I've I've been all night and I've been like just constantly filming and editing on these slow computers and I gotta get it together. But I do hope that you like this restyle. I'm like I'm kind of on the fence with it. Like I said, I feel like her buns are a little too big, 
But you know what? There's nothing wrong with being big and bold. Like, it's beautiful. I love it. And I love her little accessories and her makeup and her clothes and her little locker. It's just amazing. I I can't wait to open the other ones. But right now, I, I gotta get, I gotta get, open up Jade. Jade's next. Runway Jade. And then Sunny's after that. Well, not, I don't know. I, I gotta figure out, okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit of a mess right now, but I like it like that. Guys, I had 73 hours of PTO. Can you believe it? So I finally got it granted to me this week. Um, I had to apply for it like two weeks in advance, but I, I took off on Friday and I had Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off of this upcoming week. So I'll be at home making videos and yeah, I just want to get as much done as possible. But yeah, let me know how you feel about this um, restyle <laughs> and this doll. I sprayed some um, glitter on her if you were wondering what that was. I love it's like a glitter body spray. It's not enough though. Like I want, I was spraying a lot, but it doesn't show up enough. Um, yeah, I guess that'll be all. Thank you guys so much for everything. Um, this was quite a fun experience and I can't wait to do the other ones. Like I said, I have a lot of new hairstyling equipment, so I'm going to put all that to use. Um, yeah, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm talking your ear off now, but yes, I love you and I will see you in Jay's video or it might be another Draculaura because a monster high oh i don't know if i can say that i don't know will you I, whatever talk to you guys later love you bye <laughs>